Hello everyone, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. So, as promised today, we're going to be using a mod. This is known as the Spherical Launchpad mod. So this is, this is really cool. So, um, I'm not really, I didn't download this mod to use the actual feature, which is the Launchpad. I downloaded it to turn it into a Sphere of Death, which, from what I understand, uh, most of you should, would have actually seen at some point or another is where you have a motorcycle within a sphere and this motorcycle just spins you know inside the sphere it's really cool uh, and dangerous <laughs> and I've been trying to get that kind of thing going on here so this would have to be the motorcycle here of course I know motorcycles don't have four wheels but uh, you know just just this is the only thing we can do really I mean if we have like a two-wheel motorcycle in this game, it will not work because it will just be too dangerous. Uh, but here's the thing: when I when I decouple this, uh, I don't know what happens. I don't know why it just it decouples and bang. <laughs> I don't fully understand why that happens. But anyway, I'll show you. I'll show you what this sphere does. This is like really cool. Look at that. Look at that. That's that's cool. This thing has a mass of around 15, I believe, and an impact tolerance of 10, I think. But that, that animation just then, really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, this is actually the biggest sphere within the mod. So, I don't know what's going on with this motorcycle. Come on, why? <laughs> just try to get it to work. It'd be awesome if it did. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And this mod doesn't seem to be being updated. No, I don't think it's being updated. The last version that it did work was in 0.22 maybe. I don't know. I, I'm looking on the space, Kerbal Space Port. I don't see any information on it, on that kind of stuff. Yeah, it doesn't say. Uh, but you know, it's it seems to work when you open the launch pad. So anyway, uh, what this is, you see this big rectangular type of thing. This is actually the the panels, the flat panels that we saw. So what I want to do is unbreakable joints, no crash damage, and I want to see possibly if I can decouple this. Nah, nope. Not working. There's a bit of a kick behind that too, eh? With the thrust. Whoa, okay, it's gone crazy. Wait, let me show you guys something. I tried this out before. This is interesting. So I know we, we are using the stability enhancers to hold the sphere in place, but obviously they don't seem to be working very well. That happens. That does happen quite a lot. No worries. Come on, load. Load, black screen for too long. Okay. Now, if I, come on, okay, there we go. Took a while. Do, do, do. Oh, no, no, that's this one here. Yep, this, stability enhances. Move that down there to here. All right, now, this is interesting. Okay, then not, not that. Wait, wait, okay, it's just, it's somehow rolling. <laughs> okay, now, if I get the decoupler, which is this one here, that decoupler right there, which is actually, meant to be attached to here but uh well it's technically is but it's kind of an invisible attachment uh if you actually press spacebar come on oh what what okay that that was not intended wait this should be decoupled i don't know what is happening well Okay, well that's not right. Oh great, someone's calling me. Oh, that's not working the way it should be. Wait, I'm, I'm confused. So, we decoupled it? No, we didn't, because this would be... We did press spacebar. Hmm, I'd have to say it's like bugged out or something. Oh wait, what? What? I did press spacebar. Well, that's weird. Uh, is this upside down? Who knows? All right, you know what? Let's let's open it. I want to see this cool thing again. Oh, oh, open. 
Yeah. Oh, it is upside down. Oh. Ooh. Well, that was up. Impact tolerance of 10. <laughs> what? Oh, how did this get out there? Well, that's just not practical. Did not imagine that. Well, I don't think this is going to work, guys, unfortunately. This mod is definitely not made for a, to be a sphere of death. <laughs> Although, technically, it's a spherical launch pad. You know, you, you kind of launch a motorcycle inside. Wouldn't that be? No. Of course, that's not its, a, it's intention. Uh, the guy who made it, I believe his name is Farnsworth. That's what it says on the Spacebot website here. Ah... Uh, Sphere of Death. You know what? That that probably does not exist if I search it. <laughs> and I did not search Sphere of Death. I searched Sphere in uh, in KSP to actually find this mod. Yeah, look at that, man. What the heck? I understand we need struts to hold this in place properly, but you know, even then, why? Why smash? Why did it go this time? It didn't smash. What? Where is it? Is that it? What? Well, oh, oh, that's uh, that's something else. Okay, that one, that one, <laughs> that's a secret project, kind of. I don't know. I guess I'll show you guys a little more, or maybe I should do it in another episode. I'll do it in another episode, but yeah, okay, okay. So this didn't, this didn't t turn the pieces. Uh. Hmm. Okay, well, this is not gonna work. Mm hmm. That's disappointing. <laughs> uh, so, let me see something. Let me check something. Loma. Okay, we do have a Loma. Alright, I'll show you guys a Loma in the next episode. So, that's infin That's uh, a weird thing that I made. You guys kind of saw it for a split second. A bit laggy, actually. And not very practical in a sense. But I guess now I'll show you the mod since we have it here, even though I said we were not going to show it. So it has three sizes, and each size, of course, has an increase of mass. So this is the biggest, 15 mass. Crash tolerance 10, they all have the same crash tolerance, same max temperature. Wait a second. When it means temperature... Do I have Deadly Reentry mod installed? No, I don't. Wait, 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 all the parts in Deadly Reentry mod are like here. Yeah, I don't have it installed. Okay. I was wondering with the temperature there. Uh, so this is a smaller one and then you have this as well. Wait, you know what? That would be really cool if you could have two. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to actually try this. I'm going to have a couple of these spheres uh, within themselves. Yeah, that that's, that's looking good. Okay. Now the smaller one needs to go here. Oh, that, oh, awesome! Okay, now, if I can... Would action groups work for this? Let's see. Oh, it does. It works. <laughs> it works. Let's toggle. Okay, and the other one's like in there. How am I going to get it? Uh, what? What? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I think I got it. Ooh, this is interesting. So, number one to get that working. Launch. And I know some of you may be wondering, how tick, where have you been? Well, you know, studying assignments, that kind of stuff. And as well as that, internet connection problems. So once you use up the bandwidth allocated to you, then you kind of uh, no longer get a fast enough internet speed to do anything. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, here we go, guys. Well, I'm gonna press F5 so I can quickly revert back. Lomoa! You guys, you gotta like, hey, take. I wanna see the Lomoa! <laughs> Alright, you ready? One! Oh. Did it happen? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. That wasn't as fancy. Well, obviously, it worked, but uh, didn't look as good as I thought. <laughs> and nothing smashed, because we have the mods. We have the cheats. Uh, let's see. I'm going to F9 this. Do do do. Allow part clipping and editors. Mm, we don't need that. Oh, great. KSP is almost 
Frozen. Oh, it is frozen for now. Okay, if not until... Yep, it was bound to be frozen because of a lawnmower. Lawnmower is like... How many parts? 200? Easy 200 parts. No, it's like... Uh, probably 800 parts. I'm just guessing. Anyway. So this time, let's let's look on the inside. Uh, maybe from like here. Okay, this is this doesn't look very good. All right, yeah, there one. Uh, uh, oh yeah, you can see that deploying. Yeah. I mean, it seems to deploy at the exact same rate. Even though they're different sizes, and theoretically, the big one would probably take longer to deploy since it's bigger, requires more energy technically to deploy. Oh well. <laughs> so that's fun. Any other part in this mod? Close. Oh, is that a helicopter? Yep, helicopters going past. We get some helicopters around here for some reason. Those damn news helicopters. What are they spying on? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty much it for this mod. Yeah, interesting. Apparently, if I look on the space spaceport website, a spherical launch pad with deployable ramp to be used with uh, sky coolers, if that's how you say it, exoplanetary launch pad modification. Okay, well, there's another mod that apparently you can work with. I believe it's called exoplanetary launch pads, which I've someone rang the bell. I've tried. I did install both mods. In fact, I don't think it's installed in this version of KSP. Um, I installed both mods in another save file I have of KSP, and they don't seem to be working well together. And I, you know, I was getting a few bugs and weird things happening in, in the, uh, in here, <laughs> when I was making stuff. Uh, anyway, guys, I gotta go. So thank you for watching and have a nice day. Take care.